You ever wonder how a toilet works? Well, I'm going to show you. We'll start off with an older style toilet and then move on to a newer low flow style. All right, let's take the lid off and take a look inside the tank. And here are the parts. Got the handle that you push to flush the toilet. It's connected to this arm. The end of the arm is a chain, usually plastic or metal, which is connected to that orange and black flapper down there. The flapper is covering a hole that uh, allows water into the bowl. Over here, this big black uh, float. It's connected to the valve. So what happens when you flush your toilet and push down on the handle, the arm raises up, it pulls on the chain, pulls on the flapper, pulls up, which opens that hole that allows the water in the tank to drain into the bowl. When that water level gets low enough, that flapper will close again just due to gravity. The float is riding on top of the water. So as when you flush a toilet and the water level drops, that float drops and it opens up the valve. The water, the source is usually underneath the toilet. Comes up to the valve. When that valve is open, when that float is down, water flows through this hose down here and starts to refill the tank. So when the flapper closes, the tank is then allowed to refill as the water level rises, the float rises, and when it gets high enough, it shuts off the valve and everything's reset. So I'm going to flush the toilet and you can watch it all happening in real time. I'm going to push down in the handle, it's going to raise the flapper. The tank flushes, water level drops, flapper closes, the tank starts to refill. Water level is rising, the float is rising, gets up high enough, shuts off the valve. You may have noticed a lot of water spraying out from underneath the valve. That shouldn't be happening. This valve is no good and will need to be replaced. I didn't realize it until I shot the video. Water should just be coming out of this tube. All right, let's close this up and check out a newer low flow style. And here's a new low flow style toilet. It works the same as the old style, it's just some of the parts are a little different. Got a handle connected to the arm, there's a chain on the end of the arm going down to the flapper. And you'll notice this flapper is much larger than the, on the old style. That's because it's covering a hole that's a lot larger. That larger hole will allow the water to empty out of the tank into the bowl a lot faster. And you'll get the same forceful flush, but using a lot less water. The large float has been replaced with this right here, this float, which rides up and down on the shaft of the valve. Um, we've got our tube then from the valve that will, the water exits, exits and refills the tank. So let's take a look at how this works. I'm going to push down on the handle to raise the arm, raise the flapper, water will drain out. Water drains, the float drops. Valve opens, starts a refilled tank, the flapper closed, that allows the water level to come back up. This is refilling a lot slower than the other one because the other valve was in such terrible shape and was so leaky. This is how a tank should normally uh, refill when it's working properly. Tank is full, float is high and it closed the valve and now we're ready to flush again. Well, there you go. I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to keep up to date with my newest videos. Thanks for watching. Now I'm gonna go replace the valve on this thing before it completely fails.